In this topic, we are going to talk about the multinationals reaction to the uh, aspect of re-entry. Um, as we previously discussed as well, that multinationals, they ignored the issue of repatriation and we discussed the reason why it happened. But the recent trends show that there is an improvement. A 2011 survey showed that 95% of the firms held re-entry discussions as compared to the historical data of 92%. Uh, these meetings, uh, their timing and formality varied from firm to firm, but various different firms held it for different times and with different level of formality. Some organizations uh, made it a more formal and structured process of uh, discussion about re-entry. Some did it more informally, but about 95% uh, of the firms, they discussed the re-entry issues and problems with their employees. So, um, and the timing also varied. Some of the organization, they discussed this even before the departure. Some discussed it six months prior to re-entry. Some discussed it uh, between six months and at the point of re-entry and some discussed it at the re-entry time. So the timing also varied but uh, one of the encouraging factors is that most of the organization they did go uh, to the extent of discussing the re-entry issues and problems with their employees uh, at the time of repatriation. So the multinational reaction to the repatriation issue is changing with the changing global climate. And therefore, the more an organization puts an emphasis on the repatriation process, the more likely it is possible to gain benefits out of that, which is shown in this model. Uh, so you can see that uh, on the top of uh, this model, is the factor that the value placed on international experience. If the organization places a high level of value on the international experience and therefore values its expatriates, it values the learning that the expatriate is going to bring back to the organization, this is the factor which is going to then lead to management of the repatriation process. So if the organization puts more emphasis on the international experience, it is going to formally and systematically manage the repatriation process. And then the repatriate experience is going to moderate the effect of the management of the repatriation process to the outcomes. And what type of outcomes can be achieved from the management of repatriation process? Number one is that you can achieve staff availability and retention. If you manage the repatriation process in a good way, then your staff, your employees, they will be committed your organization and the turnover will be less. जैसे कि आपने केस स्टडी में हमने डिस्कस किया कि छह महीने के बाद ही जो the person under discussion he left the organization because the because the company did not manage the repatriation process in an effective manner. It could it would also lead to a strengthened employment relationship with your employee. So if you take care of the repatriation process of the, um, uh, of the employee, that would lead to a stronger employment relationship. It would also lead to strengthened organizational commitment of your employee with your organization. And it is something that the organizations must be desiring for that their employees should be committed to their organization. And finally, the fourth aspect, which is the very important one and the most significant one that carries importance in international experiences is the process of knowledge sharing. If you manage the repatriation process well, you are able to bring the per person back home effectively uh, and you are able to place him 
at a place where he uh, where he deserves to be and you place him at a position where he can actually utilize the knowledge and learning experience that he has gained on the international uh, uh, on the international assignment that would lead to the process of knowledge sharing between the host country context and the parent country context which would lead to the development of the organization towards a next level so um, a, the management of the repatriation process could lead to many beneficial outcomes for the organization and these outcomes could lead to the development of a global set of managers who could lead your organization to a real globalized status this uh, uh, relationship of uh, management of repatriation process and the outcomes is moderated by the repatriates experience uh, the repatriate experiences which they have uh, uh, which they have experienced in the uh, host country they will moderate if they had extremely uh, good experiences uh, which could not be replicated in the home country then that is going to moderate the effect aap jitna bhi usko achhi tarah se manage kar le agar international assignment pe experience bahut acha tha international assignment pe um, uh, standard of living bahut acha tha wahan pe um, authority bahut thi responsibility bahut thi salary bahut achhi thi bacche bahut khush the wife bahut khush thi ya spouse bahut khush tha wo jo experiences hain agar us uh, that is also something which affect the repatriation process to so company jo hai wo ek level tak hi aapko repatriation mein facilitate kar sakti hai lekin agar aapka repatri agar aapka experience jo tha repatriate ka wo uske andar certain aise elements the jo ke uh, uh, which which uh, would actually reduce the person's interest in being repatriated to the home country that is something which moderates the relationship between the management and the outcomes so this is why you can see over here that the repatriates experience that is something which moderates the relationship as well as it affects the outcomes which can be achieved from the repatriation process so this is a model of the uh, multinational reaction and how it leads to certain employee and organizational outcomes for the organization